But the Elizabeth line already opened back in May, is what I hear you saying, Jeff. So what the heck is today? What today is, is through running. So instead of three separate railways, it's all joined up. Let's go ride the through running on the purple train. Yes, up until now, the Elizabeth line has been run as three separate railways. In May, the Paddington to Abbey Wood section opened up and that was the new bit that we all got excited about. The already existing Liverpool Street to Shenfield service was another out east, and then at west you had Paddington out either to Reading or Heathrow. But now it's been connected up, and trains from Abbey Wood are going through Paddington down to Heathrow and up to Reading. And trains from Shenfield are going through Liverpool Street and terminating at Paddington. But in May of next year, they will go further. Yeah, so it's Sunday, uh, 6th of November. Just come in, Carl. I can't be like... So I've asked Carl and other people around on the trains all day, we're going to ride the whole line yeah. as all three sections join up. So mainly we've got to go east here, mm -hmm. from meaning Broadway, through into Paddington yep. for the first time ever. Yep. Uh, we're going to have a look at Paddington, have a look at Whitechapel. Yeah, because that's, that's why point. they're telling everyone to change. And then we'll yeah. go out east and we'll do the bit through Stratford through to Liverpool Street for yeah. the first time. Yeah. It's raining, it's cold, it's not quite the same as May when it was all light and warm, but it, it's <laughs> fine. It's alright, we'll it, just have to cope. It's, did you bring an umbrella? Yeah. No. So where at the moment you walk between the two Paddingtons, gone. Train straight through. Where at the moment you walk between the two Liverpool Streets, gone. Trains go straight through. Can I come out of the rain now, please? All right, so we're eastbound out of Eden Broadway. We'll stop at Acton Main Line. And then we'll go into Paddington. However, there are these leaflets which they put out this morning, along with the new tube map. We'll get to that. Uh, and it does say, there's a bit here that says, trains will wait up up to seven minutes approaching Paddington when going towards Abbey Wood around the Westbourne Park area. I've heard it happens coming westbound as well after you leave Paddington going towards Acton Mainline. Uh, this is temporary and will come to an end in May 2023. Basically the timetable is a little bit, yeah, they've got to sync them up and by May 23 next year uh, they'll be aligned perfectly and there will be no delay. But we will wait to see if there's a small delay going into the tunnel, into the portal by Westbourne Park. Uh, this leaflet, by the way, pick one up, is also saying if you need to change onwards for Elizabeth Line destinations, please change at Whitechapel. So we're going to stop at Whitechapel and see what's going on. The obvious thing there is that you can now change from the Shenfield branch at Whitechapel down to the Abbey Wood branch and the Abbey Wood branch you can change at Whitechapel to go out onto the Shenfield branch but because Shenfield trains are still the ones only going to Paddington and it's the Abbey Wood trains that are going through beyond Paddington what they're suggesting is that if you're at Shenfield on the Shenfield branch and you want to go west of Paddington they want you to change at Whitechapel now you could just change at Tottenham Court Road or Bond Street because Whitechapel is a quieter station they're trying to put all the focus on change at Whitechapel when you could you could just change anywhere in the central section it's up to you we're on the approach hang on. who hasn't done the portal so this is it we I are not this is the portal. pause hang on so it's 10.06 how long are we going to wait before we go down up to seven minutes seven up minutes. to seven minutes i feel like somebody should time it okay you're going to stop watch we have come to a stop all right so we're on the move louis how long did we pause for literally a minute and 20 seconds so they're saying it could be up to seven minutes we stopped for just one minute and we're now going into paddington Exciting. Was, was that the was that us going in? Yeah. yeah exactly. That's it. We're in. We're in. To the future. To the future. <laughs> wow. Okay. They, look, they, they seem to be keeping them there for up to seven minutes. It's, it's still there. The, the one that we came in on. Oh no, it's going now. <laughs> so it did sit there for a couple of minutes, three minutes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But look, there's one coming in, and it's going. T4. T4. So yeah. look, so the departure boards go Heathrow terminates, Heathrow terminates, so it, it's alternating. Oh, it's, it's, al right. it's alternating. Yeah. So at Paddington now, we'll have a train that's come up from Abbey Wood that's going west to Heathrow or maybe Reading, and that carries on. But yeah. ones that have come from Shenfield are still terminating here at Paddington. So the staff are letting the passengers down for the through train. When the terminator comes on, they're clearing out trains as before. There used to be these big signs on the platform saying all services only go from that platform, platform A. Now, uh, on platform B, it's through terminate, through terminate, through terminate. And all the correspondent. Sorry, I'm just, I'm just in the middle of <laughs> eating something. Every time, yeah. We've had word that uh, some uh, big wigs are turning up. How big is the wig? <laughs> we should stick around and find out. Absolutely. We, we, we like a big wig, don't we? Should we see if we can wig with the bigs? Absolutely. We can go wig big. 
How big is the wig? Is the wig big? If the, if the wig is big, the, oh, oh, I don't know where I'm going with that. Wow. Yeah. Next week on the channel, 10 minutes of Carl saying, how big is the wig? <laughs> How big's the wig? Well, in my case, not with very. The, with yeah. a bin bag blowing in the breeze and <laughs> The mayor's turning up. Roxana, who's a mayor for New York. Hi, nice to meet you. They're handing out badges again, but this time I've got I got a little purple I got a purple high vis key ring. That's great. I've got about twelve of these now, but only only one of these. I don't think we're going to get Sadiq. Right. I'm going to get Andy instead. Andy's good. Can you hold the camera if I go and grab Andy? Not yes. literally. I won't literally grab him. That would be weird. It'd be entertaining though. I see what his bodyguard says. All right. Because yeah. uh, I want numbers. I need to know numbers. He's the man to ask uh, for, for trains per hour numbers. Right. Let's check with Andy. It's exciting, it's through running, yep. apart from Sheffield, we know that's May next year, but what is it, 16 off peak, 20 during the peak, what are the numbers? Yeah, so from tomorrow, uh, 22 trains per hour in the morning and evening peaks, so through the central section, 16 in the off peak, uh, Reading and Heathrow through to Abbey Wood, Shenfield through to Paddington. Will that up to 24 in May of next year? May next year, 24 and the ability to go end to end. So, so May will be the final, final yeah. change, but this is, this is like, we're, we're 90% there, right? Yeah. I'd even even more than 90%. You give it 95% now. So okay. seven day running. Okay, nice. So uh, today's the first Sunday operation, other than the two, um, you know, for the Jubilee and and for Her Majesty's funeral. So we're now seven day a week running, extended opening hours, higher frequency railway. You know, we're we're nearly there, and as you've seen, it's a game changer for London. I think we're there. No, I think we can say we're there. All right. Are you excited? Very, you very, really proud of the team and what everybody's done. And you can see the looks on the customers' faces. I was on the first train out of Terminal Five this morning, 7:52, left on time. Very smooth transition through uh, from Network Rail into the cos, uh, and then again, just back now from Stratford. It's brilliant. Lovely. Thank you, sir. See you again. Thank you. We'll All right. Definitely. Have a good day. Cheers. Take care. Thanks, Thanks Carl. That's it. Thanks, Carl. So the new tube map is here. It's showing where out west it now goes straight through uh, at Paddington, out east where it now goes straight through, drops down uh, from Stratford to Whitechapel. Carl, my question for you, as we're Morning. at Paddington, yeah. um, I did a thing on Twitter the other week. The trick is, if you're coming in from the west, say like from yeah. Reading or Maidenhead, yeah. yes, it's a straight through train into yeah. the centre of town, but is it, and I know it is, is it quicker to still get a GWR service, like a fast one from yeah. Reading into Paddington and then change down to the Elizabeth line. Because some people were like, no, I just want to be on the one train, the one seat, then I can have a nap. Some people are like, well, there's no toilets. I'd rather get the train with the toilets. Yeah, some people I'd... are like, I can stop at Paddington and get a drink and then carry on. But some people just like the sheer convenience of taking one train all the way through. Mm, I don't know. Even though from the extremities, it might take longer. Do you have an opinion? I think, Hello. Um, I think it's down to the circumstances. If you're in a rush, do the fast thing and then, because the, the change here is not too bad. So get a fast GWR into Paddington and then come downstairs. If you prefer convenience, by all means, stay on the one train, bring a nice book, get your headphones on, chill out, why not? This is Scott, let's shake hands. Hello. Ha how's it been? Are there confused passengers or has it all gone swimmingly? Uh, there's always going to be confusion when we change over, uh, naturally, but Passengers have been very receptive. Um, they know that something's happening. They know that there is through running now, and that's been fantastic to see. All right, are you all good? I'm excellent. You having a all fun day? Better for seeing you, Jeff Trains. <laughs> Jeff Trains. Please let passengers off the train before you go the train. Right, Whitechapel approaches. The sign is saying change here for trains towards Shenfield via. So we're on an Abbey Wood train, and it's going to sort of bend to the right, and we're going to change and get one with probably the one after yeah. that goes up to Gideon Park, Shenfield, and we'll get that one and go to Stratford. By the way, a slight small point: this whole time, Abbey Wood to Paddington has been running ten trains, twelve trains an hour, yeah. every five minutes. And that's now gone down from twelve trains an hour to eight trains an hour every seven and a half minutes because they've also got to squeeze in the ones from the Shenfield branch. So Abbey Wood has actually seen a reduction in service, not only not not by much, but we'll change you at Whitechapel. I just want to see if there's a big sign saying change here and then we'll go up through the portal, uh, pops out by Pudding Mill, DLR, and we'll go to Stratford uh, on the purple train. This is the crossover corridor. So if you're coming from Abbey Wood, 
to Shenfield, you'd walk along here and then hop over. I wonder if the, the, the trains are timed to actually meet it. Look, then there's no way you could have run over in time. You don't, don't, don't run over. <laughs> but this is the handy corridor that you can use to connect between the two different branches. You were expecting a sign, so I was expecting a sign, but there is no sign. Where would the sign be, Carl? Where would you put the... Show TFL where they'd put the sign. I'd... <laughs> follow me. <laughs> and we'll do some pretend sign slapping. Yeah. Uh -huh. So how about a... There you go. Saying change here. Change here. Get off here if you go in Stratford way. No, Abbey Woodway. Ab sorry, Abbey Woodway. On the other platform it would say change here for Shenfield Stratford Way. See, even I got it wrong because there's no sign. <laughs> so they do a PA that makes it clear you're not going to Abbey Wood, you're going up the Shenfield branch. Alright, so we're about to branch left and pop out into the open. Shenfield via Stratford is what the board is saying. This is the train to Shenfield via Stratford. Exit for Queen Elizabeth. This is it. So I've never ridden in this bit of tunnel. This is this is the new bit of tunnel I've not ridden before. If I was a, a track basher, I'd be colouring in yes, the, this the little bit yeah. right now. We're going to pop out into the open air any second now. It's like waiting for Christmas. Do you think it's stopped raining? No. <laughs> It's quite long, isn't it? That it's feels about... Oh, here we go. Oh. And we have daylight. I think it has stopped raining. It has. We've got our teas. I, Indeed. I'm worried because you've got your phone out. You look like you're about to ask uh, me something. Yeah, what, so I think, it's, it's, I think it's time to test Jeff. Okay. <laughs> so, which limited services run into the high level platforms at Liverpool Street and Paddington. So basically trains are all straight through now, apart from the first train of the day from Shenfield is a purple line train, I think at 4.44, and that goes all the way into the high level National Rail platforms at Liverpool Street. And then there's two more from Gidea Park, one about seven something, one about eight something in the morning, and they go, am I good so far? I think there's another one as well. There's one about five o'clock in the morning yeah, as well, which starts yeah. at Gidea Park and goes into, so there's four in the morning that goes to Liverpool yeah. And then in the evening, there's two about one well, about five something, about six something out of Liverpool Street High Level that go to Gidea Park only. So that's that end. Paddington end, basically uh, going going. Oh, is it? Which way is it? Uh, at, the, at the start of the day, the trains leaving, going to Heathrow in the morning, start at the Paddington High Level platforms. There's about eight or nine in the morning. There's a few, and then in the evening, at the end of play, they terminate at the high level platforms, ones from Heathrow. So that's at the start and at the beginning, and that's the limited high level service at Paddington, I think. Is that right? It's Spot on. There we go. Yes, I can't, can't, can't right. fault that. Have your right. tea. Right, thanks for, uh, I've earned my tea. You've right. earned your okay. tea. Okay. All right, Carl, that is into Paddington at 12.04. We were out of Stratford at 46. That's how many minutes, please, Carl? Oh, my maths is terrible. 18, 18, 18, 18 minutes. 18, yeah. That is incredible. Mm. Gen like in your head, to get across London like that, it's boom, in 18 minutes. I would say insane, but that's part over egging it. We're bit. having to rewire our sort of. <laughs> Because normally you look at a tube map and you're like, oh, it's going to be a yeah. right drag to get across yeah. London. Yeah. Not anymore. 18 yeah. minutes, Stratford to Paddington, and we're back at Paddington. Yeah. Amazing. Through running is here. Should we wrap up upstairs? Yeah, let's do it. Let's wrap up yeah. upstairs. This is what we call the closing escalator shot. <laughs> That's my it, favourite. It, it's new. Something new. I've never wanted done to do this, this for ages. Yeah. Never done before. Uh, quick, you've got 10 seconds. How was your through running purple experience? Fast. Do it. Yeah, yes. really fast yeah. through town. Uh, yeah. Final tweet to come in May 2023. Otherwise, that's it. It's pretty much open now. I don't have to make any Elizabeth uh, Elizabeth Holmes videos ever again. No. Oh, know. hang on, uh, hang on. Uh, End of escalator. Uh, End of escalator. Uh, End of escalator. Uh, okay. 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 Press subscribe. Bye. Bye. Okay, yeah.